A hate crime designation means the Maggie Long case is going to get a fresh set of eyes. And today her family told Denver 7's Liz Gillardi they couldn't be more grateful. We definitely really cherish the memories we have with her. And I think that's part of how we're able to continue day to day. Maggie Long's memory lives on in her parents' home and with her sisters as they continue to seek justice. She did not deserve what happened to her. She was the friendliest, the most innocent. Maggie was murdered in December 2017 at her family home in Park County. Investigators would later reveal she was burned alive. The motive has remained a mystery and the why has baffled her family. Now everyone is left wondering if there was another factor. I think when you look at the crime that occurred, it would be hard to say that the brutality and violence of the crime got to that level um, without there being another factor of extreme hatred. The FBI is investigating the murder as a possible hate crime. Maggie was Asian American. Her parents were born in a refugee camp and came to the U.S. where they opened restaurants. Her family says a detective recently told them the case would be reclassified, but they didn't think about the horrific killing as a hate crime, at least not initially. And so, you know, you have to wonder then, why was the crime so hateful? Why did she die in such a violent, brutal manner? This is not a death that was accidental. It was completely intentional. And I think for those reasons, there must be another angle of why somebody would go to that extent to express their hatred. Maggie's sisters say this latest development has them rethinking everything and they want the community to do the same. The FBI tip line is open and there's a $75,000 reward for information. Hopefully it gets people to think about the case from a different perspective or think about the interactions they may have had with people in Bailey during that time. Most of all, they hope it will lead to answers there's still that heaviness that keeps us in the past. While her you know, spirit encourages us to have hope and to move forward, we're still tethered to that night in 2017. And until we get real answers, I don't know if we can really truly move on. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.